the next pass protection problem that we're going to talk about is another kind of in vogue pressure that's been around for a long time but now just has a much fancier term and this is simulated pressures or sim pressures at the end of the day sim pressures mean that they are trying to simulate some sort of pressure there is no real pressure they're usually only bringing four now they're often also usually only bringing four and that there are non-traditional rushers rushing so what does that mean they're usually rushing potentially edge dbs linebacker types and defensive linemen traditional rushers are dropping out of cover into coverage so again they're really only rushing four people love to talk about simulated pressure sims they're showing a lot of pressure but at the end of the day they're only rushing four so if they have you schemed up where you are hot off one person simulated pressures will wreck your game if you have built in duels scans saves on the back end simulated pressures are usually just them rushing dbs drop in defensive linemen yes please but you have to have the structure the pass protection rules the boundaries the bones to be able to pick these things up because if you're hot off one person and they bring that one person and they drop three other people out and you got offensive linemen blocking air it's a bad look so it can absolutely cause issues don't get don't get it twisted i don't want to downplay it but at the end of the day if you understand the construction of it they're simulating pressure meaning it's faux pressure fake pressure they're usually only rushing four of those four one if not multiple are non-traditional rushers not defensive linemen anytime defensive linemen are dropping it's a good thing for me it's a good thing for the quarterback position it's a good thing for the offense now you just have to have rules to be able to block it up so and again another reason why duels are so important or asking people to be have responsible for multiple people to know their rules to know what your offensive skeleton looks like to be able to block these things up because simulated pressures can cause issues it shows pressure it simulates pressure but in reality they're dropping a lot of people so you have to confirm it post snap but you can't just blatantly realize oh i'm going to throw hot no matter what well they're only rushing four you don't want to throw hot you want to block it up and take advantage down the field so if you're playing a simulated pressure team a sim team you really want to know what your answers are you want to try to be as dual heavy as possible and yes realize your back will probably get eaten up quite a bit but if you're facing a sim team and you know sim tendencies in certain situational football it's a great advantage for an offensive unit if you can block it up and take advantage of non-traditional pass rushers rushing the passer and non-traditional pass coverage people covering in the pass unit yes please so i get why defensive coaches want to do it I think it is kind of funny, wink, wink, that they love to talk about how in-depth and how nuanced and detailed these sim pressures are. At the end of the day, if you want to rush someone who's not used to rushing and you want to drop someone into coverage who's not paid to cover, I'll take my chances. So again, understanding what they are, understanding your opponent, and simulated pressures, simulating that pressure. They're showing the pressure, but at the end of the day, they're really not pressuring. They're only rushing four, usually with non-traditional rushers.